So just a very brief, super quick video for those who are interested in the ongoing, ever evolving Sony PlayStation purchasing, acquiring Square Enix rumors. This time courtesy of PlayStationLifestyle.net where their headline is Sony reportedly is interested in Square Enix Japan, but not their Western studios. So Sony is reported to be really interested in acquiring Square Enix Japan, at least according to Eidos Montreal founder Stefan de Strauss. hope I didn't butcher his name, or Astus. On the other hand, they're not interested in the publisher's Western studios, which may be the reason, the very reason why Square Enix sold off Eidos Montreal, Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix Montreal. So the rumors have been knocking around the internet for a while now and have been spreading that Sony was interested in acquiring Square Enix. But when discussing these rumors with the gamesindustry.biz, Dieter Strauss said that he had heard, and I quote, heard rumors that Sony said they were really interested in Square Enix Tokyo, but not the rest. He also believes that this is the reason why Eidos Montreal, Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix Montreal were sold off at what everybody believes to be an extremely cheap price. Again, here's another quote. So I think Square Enix CEO Yosuke Masuda-san put it like a garage sale. In other words, offload that, bring down the cost, Sony swoops in. Now this theory would back up previous rumors from insiders like, well, quote unquote insiders Jeff Grubb, who suggested Square Enix was setting itself up for a sale after the Embracer Group deal. The only reason why I say quote unquote insider Jeff Grubb because he works in the industry he's a journalist so he's going to know people so he's not so much an insider he just keeps his ears to the ground now Square Enix and Sony have already got a history of partnership and you can see the games in the background of this video there is an exclusivity deal for the Final Fantasy 7 remake trilogy which still shows no sign of coming to Xbox console but is coming to PC it is Babylon's fall which is, was a disaster in my opinion and uh, that's another situation this is also the timed exclusivity deal for uh, for Spoken which has been delayed I believe from October until 2023 but then we have God of War coming so there you go it fills the gap which is rumored to see the game released on PS5 for at least two years before it appears on any other consoles and few people would be surprised if Sony does acquire Square Enix Japan, but this is a really a deal that Sony would be hoping doesn't leak before it's ready. So as I say, this is not a new rumor. We've heard about Square Enix, the possibility, and we were all quite surprised when uh, they offloaded some good studios uh, and some great IP like Tomb Raider, all gone. And um, you know, it would have been nice if Sony could have got the Just Causes and you know the Tomb Raiders, uh, not necessarily to be exclusive, but you know as part of their PlayStation Plus service package or what have you, they could have just dumped them all on there. But obviously Sony didn't want to spend what it, I guess the whole e e entirety of Square Enix would have been worth with those Western studios, and maybe Sony just wants the Japanese arm for the you know JRPGs. That may be the uh, the strategy there or the action. Uh, games, the Japanese centric action games, which I'm cool with. But then at the end of the day, what do you think about this? Do you think this is just another rumor, just more hype? I mean, there's no smoke without fire, they say, and it is not out of the realms of possibility, is it, that Sony could possibly uh, acquire Square Enix Japan? And if they did, that would be quite a, a scoop because it wouldn't be under the same kind of scrut scrutiny as if they would have bought uh, Square Enix as a whole before the other studios were let go. Um, it would just be really that part of Japan they'd be dealing with the, 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 mer the merger or I guess the acquisition. So there'd be less hoops to jump through, I guess. I don't understand how Japanese business works, but I'm sure it's gonna be less complicated without those Western studios, because uh, they'll have other countries getting involved representing you know that side of things. So at the end of the day, let us see what unfolds going forward but uh, don't be shocked people if this is a thing that's already happened generally in my experience anecdotally of course uh, by the time regular folk find out about news and it ends up on social media or through a, an outlet like uh, playstationlifestyle.net 
usually it's quite old news, like months old. Um, bill could have been done already is what I'm saying. It could have already been purchased or they could be in negotiations right now in purchasing. Or maybe it's just a big pile of uh, steaming hopefulness and nothing uh, of that nature is happening at all. We'll have to see. But anyway, what say you? Let's continue the discussion cordially in the comments. Sound off, show your thoughts and opinion on today's news as that brings us to the end of the video. Subscribe for more gaming news, rumor and speculation. Hit the like button and yes, hit the notification bell so we don't miss each other. And you can help Foxy Games UK reach more gamers, so feel free to share the video you and me also. I want to consider supporting Foster Games UK via Patreon because we're like family now, so thank you. And you can find a link in the video description. But that concludes our time together today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, play games, not corporations.